Hello Guardians, welcome back to another Destiny 2 trailer breakdown kind of video. I already went over the first two Witch Queen teasers, but I thought I'd throw in the new exotic trailer. Well, not really even the trailer, a kind of teaser for the Google AdSense thing. If we scroll down here, it says here, Google AdSense ad shows new Witch Queen exotics early, ripped at 480p. Hopefully the HD version will come out soon. And honestly, by the time I'm recording this, they'll probably already have the HD version out. So if they do, I'll hopefully take some screenshots of that and when I'm just Discussing this trailer I'll actually show you the more higher quality screenshots but for now we'll go over this trailer and then if I have some time I'll go over the third witch queen teaser yeah we're, we're not really gonna play too much we're just gonna like discuss what's happening here so here's a exotic um, because you can't tell me otherwise <laughs> because if that's a legendary then let's look forward to new legendary like designs but I've heard someone say that's a trace rifle I heard somebody say it's a heavy trace rifle like you can go in the special or heavy and, and I think it's meant to be actually we will play a tiny bit. Yes, yeah, see, it shoots like it's semi automatic. There we go. I was trying to think the word for it. It's semi automatic. So I don't know. Maybe it might even be a trace rifle. It might be designed like a trace ri rifle, but not actually act like a trace rifle. And obviously, it's using arc. Uh, damage because you know you literally see like electricity here so and yeah there's nothing else to discuss about that so let's, again let's let it play a bit we have this which is as far as i believe people are saying it's like anarchy but it's just you know actually i'll show you first yeah it shoots hive larvae we're shooting hive children out of a grenade launcher if we go back a bit here's the gun itself looking all kind of snazzy it looks kind of cool all i could say is like if we're shooting these hive larvae, they're probably going to explode like they did in the brood hall strike that's getting removed, so... It's cool. We're still getting some exploding worms, even in the Witch Queen. Now, obviously, uh, again, like, it's switching between the classes. We are on Hunter now, and Hunter is wielding the pre-order bonus. But yeah, as you can see, this gun is firing a bit like... It's firing the projectiles, like, in the... Uh, Last trailer, what trailer was that? I, don't, I can't remember if it was during the Witch Queen reveal or if they re-uploaded like the same kind of gameplay for the gun, but uh, obviously it's very thorn-like, just like before. And yeah, you know, I'm not going to spend too much more time on that because I already talked about it before. Uh, there's two theories what this glaive is. Uh, theory one is that the, there are three exotic glaives, but if there's three exotic glaives, and I believe it's meant to be class specific, would that mean then that there's like nine exotic glaives? Very doubtful. So the second theory is it, uh, the glaives are just like Borealis. You can switch between the elements. Now, why you can only switch between Arc Solar and Void is beyond me, unless Bungie didn't want you to like completely break the game by having the choice of four elements it, like on one like stick, you know? Because you have to remember as well, the glaive itself is a secondary melee weapon. Anyway, I can't remember my turn of thought, if you're wondering why I just cut there. But, yeah, as you can see, I'm, I'm going to let this one play out and comment over it. So, it's on Void right now, puts down a bubble. When it's on Solar, it puts down a uh, healing grenade uh, with a Noble Seeker round going towards the person. And I think the people are right. I think, like, when you shoot it, it actually is... Uh, what we call it like making the seeker orb go after the guardian who shot at it and then this one's like a arc strider uppercut and he's just aiming it towards all them now the reason why people are saying it could be the same glaive as well is because like you can see the side here right so when it's arc it's on the left hand side if i go back to the void you can see it's on the right hand side now and obviously before even then you see like the animation that it's doing here Swapping it to another side, which means you could just be swapping its element right there and then. Now, uh, I don't think there's anything else, because at the end of the trailer, you kind of just, like, you see the Guardians hopping up, and they're just attacking Sabathu. And obviously, as I said, there's literally nothing at the end here. So, very interesting stuff. Uh, if I was to predict what this could be leading to, it could be leading to, like, a kind of, like, exotic trailer, like an actual big one, that could be coming soon, since... Like, I think Forsaken itself also had, like, an exotic showcase. So, like, not having an expansion like the Witch Queen have an exotic showcase would be kind of... Well, it's not really bad, but, like, it'd be weird if it didn't have one, you know? But anyway, that's enough of me waffling on this trailer.